This is a mobile app, and this is Ronald Pin. He wants to open a bank account. This is a bank employee accessing the bank's database through a dashboard. Here we can see that Ronald Pin hasn't finished a registration process with the bank. Following KYC regulations, the bank needs Mr. Pin to prove his identity with his passport. Sedici allows this process to be entirely online and secure. All Mr. Pin needs to do is log into the bank application, scan his passport, and consent to his identity being verified with the passport office. Success here means that every passport attribute value was directly verified with the passport office database. No passport attribute left the phone thanks to Sedici's patented technology. The bank has received a secure token directly from the passport office with the verification results. This is reflected on the dashboard where we see that the onboarding process for Mr. P is now complete. The fact that Sedici's verification process happens in real time is paramount. If the passport is renewed, revoked, lost or stolen, or other passport information changes, it is immediately taken into account by the system. Anyone attempting to use an outdated passport document will always get failed verification results. Moreover, Sedici provides the passport office with a mechanism to push this kind of updates to the bank and anyone else consuming this information. This update is done via user consent. Let's take a look at it. This is a passport office dashboard. We are going to simulate a passport renewal. A push notification is sent to the user who gives consent to the bank to receive his updated identity information by introducing his password. The bank has now received a secure token from the passport office containing the renewed passport details. This update mechanism can also be used to get a user confirmation. For instance, if someone calls the passport office pretending to be Mr. Pin and claiming to have lost his passport, it can send a push notification to Mr. Pin. By entering his credentials, Mr. Pin is providing confirmation that his passport has been indeed lost. The passport office gets this confirmation and places the passport on a lost or stolen list.